the single most important thing in any dental office in my opinion is sterilization if you are a dentist wanting to train your team member on how to do it this one's for you now before starting let's have a look at the sterilization area now this area is pretty tiny but even then we need to have a clean site separated from dirty site to avoid cross-contamination. So make sure your layout suffices that. Alright, let's start. We start by bringing our dirty instruments from the operatory in closed containers. All sharp instruments should be brought in closed containers. In my case, I use steady cages because they are easy to work with. Then I remove my gloves and wash my hands. Then I wear utility gloves. These should be puncture and chemical resistant and autoclavable. Here I continue to wash my hands and wear my utility gloves. Then I will be starting by removing all the sharps from the tray. You will remove the needle and the anesthetic carpule from the syringe and dispose it into the sharps container. When the sharps container gets filled, the services come and replace it for you. Now such sharp containers should be kept in each operatory as well. Now wash your instruments under running water to remove any excessive fluids off them. Follow this for other containers as well. Now we want to prepare our steady cages to go into the ultrasonic cleaner as it vibrates the buildup of the instruments. For this we first separate out the instruments that are not intended to go into the ultrasonic cleaner which could be your cavitron tips, your handpiece, syringe, burr block, scissors. To name the few, we use the mesh sterilization holder for the endodontic files and dental burrs. Alright, let's prepare the ultrasonic cleaner. Use the solution to the manufacturer's guideline and fill the chamber with the ultrasonic cleaner. Now I'm putting my steady cage and the mesh burr holder into the ultrasonic cleaner, close the lid and set it to 10 minutes. While our ultrasonic cleaner is vibrating off the debris from our instruments, let's clean the instruments that were not intended to go into the ultrasonic cleaner and wipe it with the cavi wipes. Do not forget to lubricate your handpiece too. Then wipe the tray and put it away. While we are still waiting on our ultrasonic cleaner, let's prepare our sterilization packs. You will notice that they have pink mark on them which are biological indicators and they turn black once they are run through the autoclave. We date and stamp all the sterilization packets and this tells us if our autoclave hasn't worked out properly we can figure out exactly which batch wasn't right. Now our instrument bags are dated and stamped. Let's take our instruments out of the ultrasonic unit and lay them flat on the paper towel or any drying mat make sure they are separated because drying is very essential before you start packaging. The autoclave only removes the moisture that they introduce into the instruments. Pat your instruments really good for drying. If required, leave them for air drying. Now let's start packaging our instruments. We bundle them procedure-wise so they are well organized. Now these packets have the self-sealable tabs which you just press onto the envelope and it seals right there. Once you are done with all the packets, you put them in the dirty bin and once the bin is full, you can put all the packages into the autoclave at the same time as a single batch. Now our bin seems full, so let's prepare our autoclave. The autoclave has the inlet for distilled water and this tube that indicates if the water level is sufficient. The water level should be in the green area. Now let's start loading our autoclave. Start putting your packages from the dirty bin onto these metal perforated trays in the autoclave. Place the packages such that they are not touching each other. You want the temperature of 250 degrees Fahrenheit at 15 PSI. We always select pouch as our option and hit start. Once the autoclave has done its job, the indicator turns black onto the packages. Spore testing should be done for autoclave weekly. To verify if it's functioning properly, you just put this little biological strip 
into the autoclave in one of the cycles and it will tell you the result. If you got any value out of this video, please consider subscribing and if you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. I would be happy to answer.